Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I'm going to create a fresh Laravel application and install and create a CRUD with a filament Laravel. I had a comment in one of my videos how to create a forms and tables with filament PHP. And I really, I never used this uh, package, but I'm going to create now and see how it's going to work. So let's search for filament PHP. And here it is. Okay, go to the documentation. And first, let me open the terminal and create a new fresh Laravel application. Laravel, and I'm going to say filament test. Okay, Laravel new. Sorry for that. And uh, here, go to the installation. We need to run the composer require filament slash filament and the version. And after that, we need to make the user. So for that, we need to create also the table and open the table plus and create new table filament test open that okay now cd in the filament test and first i'm going to run the migrate so artisan migrate okay after that let's copy this command and paste that in. hit enter okay next create the user Create a user, give it a name, I'm going to name it admin, admin at admin.com and add the password. Okay, let's say no for now. And let's clear. And now if I go to the slash admin, so filament dash test dot test. Okay, here it is the or project. Now if I say slash admin and we have this login page generated with the filament. Okay, let's add the admin admin.com and give it the password. And here it is the dashboard. Now right now we have only the dashboard here. Log out. And also when you click here, we have the name and sign up. Good. Let's go and create a model because after that we need to build resources and to create resources, we need to have a model. So I'm going to create a post model, artisan, make model, name it post. And I'm going to create also the migration for that. And uh, let me open also this in the VS code. And I'm going to add title and body to the post table. So search for post. And add the assigned table. String and say title. And dollar sign table. And say text. For the body. Okay, let's save this. Save and let me open the post model. 
and here I'm going to add protected guarded to be an empty array protected dollar sign uh, guarded let's save this one also next let's uh, make a resource filament resource so copy this and give it a name post okay now with that uh, we have a post resource inside the app filament resources so we have filament here inside the app and we have the resources and we have this post resource and also post resource folder with create edit and list posts so let's open this post resource and here we have the class which extends the resource and here we have the form and the table also we have get relations if we have relations and pages index is the default one and create go to the create and edit say record edit okay let's come here and refresh and yeah we have this resource here if i click here it's something like a laravel nova and we see we don't have the post table so let's run artisan migrate okay refresh and yeah we say posts here and no records found okay let's go and create one new post and we have only create button create or create another and console so we don't have the fields we need to add the fields the form which uh, i had commented in one of my videos so for that i'm going to create this video and here we have a form so let's copy this one and go to the form schema and add it this is going to be for the title and now for the body i'm going to add not text input but uh, so here we have text input we have select multi select checkbox date time picker file upload i'm going to add rich editor and if I click here, so we can say rich editor and make the field name. So let's paste that in, just change this to be rich editor. Okay, now make body is going to be the field and required. Okay, come here, refresh. And yeah we have something like this so let's say see if we can create that test create okay create it let's say test two test two save and when we create we are redirecting to the edit page okay so we have post one edit And in the form now we don't see any results, any posts, because we need to add fields also in the table. So now we are in the form builder. Let's go to the admin and uh, resources forms. Let's go to the table now. And here we can add table columns text make uh, text column and make copy this and add it here this is going to be title and this one the body let's save this go to the browser refresh and yeah now we have this uh, title here and the body which is 
HTML, but also we can add. So if you go to the text column here, we can add some uh, methods. So that if it is date time or money limit, and in our case, I'm going to add the HTML. So after the make body, we need to add the HTML, save it, go to the browser and refresh. And now we have uh, just the text here. Okay, let's go and edit. So we, we saw before we can edit, but uh, let's go and create another one. So test three, I'm going to say, and create. And we go to the post to edit. Okay, let's go to the post. And yeah, we have uh, this button to edit. But uh, before I close this video, I'm going to. You see, we have title and this asterisk here to say is required. But the form is not looking very good. So what we can do go to the form form builder and if we go to the layout so we can make our own layout if you want to build custom layout but i'm going to use the card make layout so let's copy this one and go to the form and when you have a schema, I'm going to say a card make and I'm going to add just one column. So it's going to be this one column and this is going to be down one column. Okay, and with that, just say schema here. Okay, close that. And we need to import the card from filament forms components card okay let's save it and refresh and you see we have a beautiful form card and also we can delete that so let's say delete okay and we have only one let's create new one a real one so first title body is here let's say bold okay create this and go to the post and we have the first title and you see here the render html okay so that's it the quick intro for the filament php and i think it's very very good for a free open source is something like the Laravel Nova. And let's see if I go to the GitHub. And has 3.1 thousand stars. Okay. So it's very useful. I highly recommend this. I never seen just right now because I had the comment and I want to see this. Maybe I'm going to create a project with this uh, admin panel. So that's it for this video, friends, how we can use filament. Just easy. For five minutes, you can create a, a card. The best, if you, if you like something, some content like this, like the video and subscribe to my channel. All the best, friends.